It truly is with all the availability of pots and pans, nothing beats the versatility of an iconic cast iron skillet. Until tonight, when our favorite gets a brilliant makeover. Literally, we've made over a favorite. It's all the benefits and none of the hassles. Hallelujah. Everybody knows, oh, cast iron, there's nothing like it. It can do so much. It's so versatile. But you know what? Cast iron, you have to season it. You got to baby it. You're worried about it rusting and all this other crazy stuff. Well, tonight, what we've done is actually done a complete makeover on a four and a half quart gorgeous HQ cast iron. And we're calling it a brazier, but it's so much more. It could be a making a pizza. It could literally do a casserole. You can bake in it. You can make cinnamon rolls in it. You could do so much in this very versatile system. Now, we're really excited because we have the most amazing colors. Are you ready? Here we go. We start off with classic white. It is so beautiful. It's clean. Please think when you see the price tonight, gift idea, gift idea idea gift ideas we have white the next one is my sleeper color I think it's going to be the first to sell out can you imagine Thanksgiving all the parties for the hall for the holidays for the fall having a pumpkin colored cast iron non-stick beautiful brazier that is our pumpkin color I think it's a sleeper always classic these two number one best sellers is going to be beautiful black and we have that gorgeous red down below this is called the rose color so really very very unique beside oh and this is the most limited by the way I have about 1500 going into the entire day then we have the bright teal which is absolutely beautiful and then of course we have the blue we have got a lot to show you a lot of yummy a lot of fun I hope you can see that amazing price and here's a little stat for you every single cast iron nonstick we've done in the HQ line has quickly become huge customer picks I think is destined to be the same here and joining me tonight is not only cookbook author, you've seen him on TV, he also, and it's so fancy too, he is a graduate of the New York City French Culinary <laughs> Institute. Long time ago. <laughs> Long time ago. Restaurants in New York, restaurants in Toronto. Yeah. We love Chef Fetcher here. Welcome back. How and are I you? know you love HQ and the cast iron. So I love our cast iron because it's got everything you want from classic cast iron. That means it gets hot and stays hot. You saw those beautiful ribeyes. How did I get the perfect sear? It's not steel, it's not aluminum, it's cast iron that gets hot, gives me that even heat. If you put a cold steak into a steel pan or aluminum pan, you get those little brown spots and some are gray. With cast iron, you got that perfect crust. Steak, pork, chicken, anything, because you retain the heat. But here's why I love Kitchen HQ's cast iron, why everyone loves it. In my dirty pan right here, you see those brown bits, you see that oil, non-stick. Look at this, Suzanne. <laughs> this is not old school cast iron. This is not enamel coated that kind of stains. This is spotless. I just hard seared two ribeyes in here and look at how spotless just from a rag. You could put this in a dishwasher. You could wash it out with soapy water. Old school cast iron, you ain't ever doing that. Mm -hmm. You can never do that. Enamel coated, coated cast iron, you cannot do that. Non-stick cast iron. This is your cast iron brazier, your fryer, your poacher. It could just be your non-stick pan to take over that old non-stick pan of yours that lost its coating. This is kind of everything in one, and look at that. And I, it's such good quality non-stick, guys. You can yeah. use metal utensils. Notice what he's using. He's got metal tongs in there. I mean, obviously, yeah. you might want to be, and if you've got silicone utensils, great, that's fine. We've got some available for you. But I love that you don't have to baby it. I don't love there's no it. hassle. My husband is such a huge fan of cast iron, I've hated it. Because I can't stand the idea yeah. of not being able to clean it. I can't stand the idea that it turns rusty, which is a waste. Yeah. I can't stand the fact you have to season it. How about a cast iron? Iron with a non-stick that takes all the hassle, but you get the benefits of cooking with cast iron. And here's why I love non-stick as well. Not just for cleanup. I just added some stock and a little sticky teriyaki sauce. Non-stick, metal utensils, no problem. I can see the bottom of my pan, even with a sticky sauce. Notice, by the way, Suzanne, my pan didn't lose heat. I took yeah. out my steaks, I wiped it out, waited two minutes. I put stock in there. <laughs> it's up to a boil still. It's it awesome. gets hot and stays hot. And I love the heat retention of cast iron. We're gonna do a little ribeye teriyaki. And I love that also the brazier we added, the lid, because the lid great. has the perfect seal. It's gonna steam your veggies, it's gonna poach your eggs. It's gonna really take a brazier to the next level in terms of, you know, not just searing and not just braising. You're gonna poach, you're gonna cook in all sorts of different ways. So check this out. The lid goes on, you see the steam. We've got the vent, 
and it's air tight and that's what you want and we love that tempered glass too because love again it's gonna it, it's just a beautiful way to be able to cook now little update i knew it you guys oh. are loving it too the red and that. the brand new pumpkin how fun is this and by the way the outside stays as clean as the inside there is a special unique coating on the outside you don't have to worry about it looking terrible after years here's something else that's a really big deal guys i'm going to set this down charlie because i want everybody to see this you are getting the two silicone handles to go with yep. it now, last time, Chef and the collection, our Kitchen HQ, they did a cast iron. It sold out early. Everybody went crazy over it. It was really fun. It only had a long stick handle. So they yeah. redesigned this one. Remember, I said this cast iron is a makeover. They redesigned it with two what are called loop handles. And because these get hot, we are including, and these are always sold separately, we're giving you the silicone stay cool handles. So when you're cooking in the oven, when you're cooking it on the stovetop you can pick it up using the silicone and protect your hands they've got grip to them and they're do de designed to match the actual color of the cast iron so let me show you the value because guys this is what makes kitchen hq so different than any other line here at hsn it's phenomenal cookware that doesn't break the bank to own it so if you start out just with the brazier alone that fabulous brazier it's almost 75 dollars remember silicone handles in other lines we sell them Separately. They're, they're huge. Everybody wants them because obviously it just makes it easier to handle something that's hot. Those right now are $12 extra. We've included it all. Check out tonight's price. How fun is this? To get high-end quality cast iron that people absolutely love, collect. It's generational. Yep. Non-stick. So now there's no hassle, no fuss, but all the benefits for $34.99. Let me add three flex to that. That's awesome too. Got a major credit card. Spread your payments out over three months. You get it right away and chef i gotta tell you when i came in here you know i was so excited about this lunch yeah. and it's because all i think of is yes for my kitchen but yes for everybody's kitchen i know so yep. gift ideas yep. my Absolutely. gosh can you imagine instead of taking a dumb bottle of wine yeah. take them a meal and leave it with them you said a word <laughs> that i love generational everyone needs a cast iron pan and this has the feel of something that's going to last you really a generation and yet it's non-stick so you get the cast iron we showed how it keeps the heat retains the heat yeah. but it's non-stick it could also be your non-stick pan it's your brazier your fire your poacher here i've got some chicken look at the perfect sear i got oh, on my gorgeous evenly browned chicken thighs right and now i added white wine old school cast iron you can't cook with acidic ingredients like wine like tomato oh that's right it'll ruin the, it'll the ruin seasoning it. and the finish this right? one you can so it's not just about huh. non-stick easy cleanup it's about cooking what Whatever you want, right. wine, tomato, anything acidic goes. Yeah. And then you've got the lid, so now, really this is a couple cooking techniques in one. I've got the perfect sear, I've got a little white wine, a little bit of stock, a little bit of sage and bacon, think about fall. Oh, wow. And then the lid on, knock down the heat, and now we're braising. So you're searing, you're braising, you're roasting. I'm gonna show you frying in a bit. It really is, you know, it's the workhorse in your kitchen. It's great for you, it's great for a gift. I wrote in my cookbook, this is a true story, Three, four years ago when I wrote the book, I said everyone needs a cast iron pan in their, in their kitchen. Right. And it's true, you do. Right, but you do. But here's the problem, the, all the hassle, the old ones. That's right. I mean, again, my husband loved cast iron. I hated it. They were too rusty. They were awful. Yep. I could never clean it. I'm sorry, it drove me nuts. I thought, this is disgusting that we keep using a cast iron. And it was gunky. You know yes. what I'm talking about? Yes. Because of all the oils and all the grease and all the stuff that stayed on it, it literally drove me crazy. But you know what yeah, I loved about it? Yeah. The results. Oh my gosh, eating food out of cast iron? There's absolutely nothing better than it. Just anything you make has a richness to yep. it a um, fall winter stew tastes so deep and delicious and sa satisfying even if you're doing you know i don't know some tomato soup and a ham and grilled cheese sandwich on a really chilly fall day the cast iron is where it's at so we love the results we hated everything about traditional cast iron now kitchen hq has solved it and this is the coolest thing about kitchen hq and chef i love you're so involved yep. in it guys kitchen hq is designed for you yep. specifically we go in we read your comments. We know what you want. We know what you love. That's right. And you guys have loved everything we've done. Do you know we did a 10-inch skillet? Huge customer pick, Chef. Yeah. Do you know there's 277 right now, five-star review on our 10-inch skillet. Yep. Then we did another one that's an 8-inch customer pick. We did a five-quart customer pick. And 
none of those three are like our today's special. But the reason I bring that up is shop with confidence. If you've ever wanted to try a cast iron, if you've ever had cast iron, had the same problems I had with it, made my poor husband get rid of it. <laughs> you know what? It's really funny. I need to buy this for my husband. He'd be tickled. Yeah. Because he does, honest to goodness, chef, he misses his cast iron. But I hated it so much, I said, look, I can't deal with it. Well, the thing with Wolf's Pool Cast Iron, and you know, your husband reminds me of my mom. My mom always used to say, I got enough to worry about taking care of you two kids. I'm not taking care of pans now, right? And old school <laughs> right. cast iron, you really had to take care of it. Right. You have to season it, which means you have to have a thin layer of oil all the time. Right. You can't wash it with soap and water. You can't put it in the dishwasher. And old school cast iron certainly is not non-stick, right? So then sometimes you have something called enamel coated cast iron, and that's not non-stick either. That really stains over time, right? So this is a cast iron that gives you the benefits, but is totally non-stick. And you don't have to baby it. You don't have to keep it seasoned. You've got that non-stick seasoning coating already. So do your chicken, do your pork. We're poaching eggs over here. And look Brilliant. at this. So over time, you're gonna poach eggs and tomato. You could poach it in cream, which I'm doing next hour. We're switching up the recipes all day, Hello. which is really great, right? Airtight lid, and that's what's gonna allow you to poach and braise. I'm gonna turn up the temperature in real time. I love that it's tempered glass because you can see what's happening, yeah, right? You're cooking with your instincts. I can see now in almost real time. The temperature's come up, my tomato's boiling away. That's only gonna be about five minutes. You've got a little vent here as well. Some of the steam comes up, yep. that's what you want. Now, Chef, let's talk about um, surfaces. Yeah. Because this is so important. People go, cast iron, oh, I can only use that on yep. certain stovetops. What does it work? How does it work? Works on pretty much anything. Gas, electric, induction, even on a barbecue. This is a great pizza stone. My buddy Ty uses this as a pizza stone, How right? How about that pizza? You can actually make pizza. Yes. Don't pull out that old dirty pizza nope. stone either. Use this. And it's oven safe. And, and it's oven safe. safe to 500 degrees. 500 degrees, <laughs> which means you can even put it under the broiler. So wow. later today when we do some fried chicken and you put tomato sauce and mozzarella, throw it under your broiler. Up to 500 degrees means throw it on your barbecue. It's your pizza stone, your brazer, your poaching, your frying, yeah. your roasting. That's it's a great roasting pan. So I love, by the way, oven to table. I think these look really chic. And the fact that you get the two kind of silicone handles means no one's going to burn themselves when you take it to the table. Yeah. Think about holiday time coming up. You yeah. could do a pot roast, a chicken, even a, a roast turkey breast if you're a family of just two or four. Have a whole meal. Roast turkey breast, veg, potatoes, put the handles on, oven to table. So Fabulous. Which is great. Yeah. And that's why I love the colors, right? Right, right. So think about not just the functionality, how good it looks, and I love that lid. I wanted to I show just, my chicken off one more time. Beautiful. By the way, this recipe, this is called the chicken salt and boca, which literally means hop in the mouth. I've got the white <laughs> wine, which I couldn't use with old school cast iron. Some stock, some bacon, some sage, and the perfect even sear. By the way, non-stick meant not even my skin on chicken, my yeah. skin on fish. Nothing is going to well, stick. Well, you know, it's funny, too. A lot of people say, well, you know what? I only pull my cast iron out to do very specific things. Yep. Imagine having cast iron that you can do everything in. A lot of people say, well, yep. I never cook eggs in cast iron because they're going to come exactly. out funky and gross yep. and all that. No, no, no. Guess what? Once you get this one, you do, oh, I can do an omelet. Yep. I can do a frittata. I can bake in here. I can do a casserole in here. I could do brownies in here. Imagine doing cornbread. Oh, I just had some cornbread. Cornbread, the best. Yes. Oh, I do, a cornbread and cast iron are you forget about it yeah it is truly the best now oh here's another quick update yay you guys are loving the pumpkin i love I, the pumpkin i do too we all fell in love with the pumpkin because <laughs> i think it just reminds you of fall and stews and winter time and hearty meals and it just makes you happy right can you imagine thanksgiving you serve that great maybe it is your green bean you know green bean casserole that you make every thanksgiving and you plop it out on the table for everybody to enjoy and you get all the oohs and ahs so if you want the pumpkin by the way let me give you an update already on quantity available. So in the pumpkin, Angela, how many do I have remaining? Okay, guys, I have less than 3,000 for the whole day. This could be wow. very limited by the end of our show tonight. I love that color. Yeah, with less than yep. 3,000, that's it. So if you do want the pumpkin, here's my prediction. There's going to be thousands of people who watch later today, and they will have no idea pumpkin was even an option. And this is our brand new color. Now, Chef, I'd also yep. love you to explain the exterior. Because I yep. said 
This today's special has been a makeover for cast iron. Absolutely. So what makes the exterior really interesting? So even the exterior, and I use this every day. I got the red one at home and I pretty much use it every day for almost every meal. The exterior is easy to clean. So I talked about old school cast iron, even enamel coated cast iron. It discolors over time and it's not easy to clean even the exterior. So it could look nice coming out of the box. Those enamel ones look great. And then they look dark brown and kind of gross over time. Yes. This is nonstick inside and out. So you're cleaning on the inside and outside just with a damp towel and you're good to go. Look at this beautiful chicken. My eggs are poaching in real time. Look at this. That's awesome. This is a little shakshuka, some tomatoes, some spices. Think about mm. holiday time when you've got a crowd. Yes. You want to poach eight eggs at the same time. This is four and a half quarts. So we're talking also about functionality and size for feeding a crowd. Yeah. Poach eggs, poke chicken. You can poach, Fantastic. steam, roast, bake. I love it for all and of that. You know what's kind of cool, Chef? That was such a great shot. Yeah. And let me do this, guys. I just want to show you the exterior because Chef mentioned it. This isn't going to turn brown. It's you yep. know how it looks like it's gradually turning a funky color uh, on those other uh, cast iron or other pans, the very expensive ones that are out there. This is nonstick as well, and it's got a really cool kind of rougher exterior. But again, it's not going to fade and it's not going to change co change colors. Let me show you the base. Now this is really cool because you can see you're working on a pretty small ring underneath yeah. this yep. one, but side. To side edge to edge Beautiful. everything is bubbling right now underneath that one if we picked it up and you could see it it's great even this lid right here how cool is this this is stay cool now are the handles going to get hot yeah of course this will not when you use it on the stove but now you've got the silicone covers included so watch yep. this when i lift this up look how it's bubbling all the way around so even if you're using it on a smaller range top or a smaller element it's going to give you that really beautiful even cooking and again i'm going to stick that lid back on once again so love cast iron some of the greatest food you've ever eaten in your life trust me it's been made out of cast iron you probably know that right maybe you've inherited something or your mom or grandma used it for years mm. and years and you have those great memories That's of it right. right now take cast iron make it user friendly make it an incredible non-stick so it's so strong you can use metal utensils take out all the hassle you never have mm. to season it you don't have to oil it it is completely non-stick inside and out and durable chef this yeah. will become just like traditional cast iron for me a family pass me down heirloom and it got that feel and like you said we listen to what you all say out there we did a cast iron before where it had a long handle kind of made it tricky to go oven to table so we took out that long handle put in the two handles and throw in those silicone handles so that your hands don't burn you can go oven to table while my creamy apple pork chops kind of do their thing look at this Think about fall with rosemary oh, and sage. Please. I'm gonna now put that airtight lid right on top, let it finish cooking, okay? I wanna talk oven to table. Look at the sheer <laughs> quantity of this pasta bake, okay? You talk about feeding a crowd. Yes. Cheesy <laughs> pasta. And again, don't fear the cleanup because it's totally non-stick. Think Wait, about holiday fork? time, right? I'm fork ready, You're chef. Just get in there because you can get in there with your, <laughs> with your metal utensils. Get in there. So I don't want you to fear cheese. We did a, a sticky teriyaki sauce. I've got the brown sugar and the apples oh, with my pork. Oh, so good. Just look, at the, just look at the quantity that you're gonna do and look at the bottom. Look at the depth. Guys, can you, and the depth, three inches deep. Guys, can you see the bottom of my pan here? Completely non-stick. Cheese, sauce, and tomato ooey sauce, gooey and stuff. it's ooey gooey yeah, stuff. Stuck. So here's the thing, Suzanne. I always find that if you fear the cleanup after the fact, you yeah. don't end up reaching for the pan. If you fear it and you're like, oh gosh, I've got to soak this thing, I've got to scrub it, you don't end up using mm. it. The reason why I use mine almost every day for searing, poaching, braising, frying is because I know I'm going to use it, I'm going to wipe it out, and I'm going to move on. And it you know what's kind of fun too? Even when you yeah. put that out on the table because it's cast iron, this is going to stay warmer longer. That's a great point too. Mm -hmm. It retains the heat. You remember that demo I did with oh, the steak God. teriyaki and then I added the chicken stock in. It was bubbling right away. It keeps the heat. So if I left this on my table, it's gonna stay warm for half an hour. So if you're thinking again about feeding a crowd or holiday time coming up, doing a pasta bake, doing your stuffing, doing a little roast. I love doing a whole roast. It's gonna retain its heat. Cast iron has been number one for fried chicken and cornbread for a reason because it gets hot and stays hot. See, see, I got the red one at home, that's me. <laughs> and this is another great thing that I love about our brand. They have kind of let me run wild. I and so it. I get all these things at home and I develop recipes for you. If you go to hsn.com, there's a ton of recipes, a ton of pictures. That's a focaccia I baked, the perfect focaccia cornbread, sourdough breads for you bakers out there. Oh, You're look at baking that. in your cast iron. You're searing pork chops and steaks and chicken. You're poaching. You're roasting. 
it's real, you know, we, that's the thing. There's my roast chicken. We call it a four and a half quart brazier, but it kind of does everything. Now, this is the cobbler, which I'm gonna show you. I don't fear the cobbler sticking on the bottom. It's non-stick. Sugar, teriyaki sauces, even a hard cleanup after a sear is easy. You can wipe it out. It's non-stick. Okay, guys, the pumpkin, the pumpkin, the pumpkin. You called it. The I did, pumpkin I did is on it. fire. I called it. Well, I just saw that it made me smile. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just thought fall and Thanksgiving and holiday time, and I just see, you know, hearty stews done in here. Can you imagine a beautiful roast beef? Oh, stop it. It's coming. And it's, it's going to just cook it so well, <laughs> and it's going to be moist and tender yep. and delicious. And you can do all the one-pot meals in here. You can do the omelets, you know? You can do the hamburgers in here if you want to. You can make your favorite bacon inside yep. here if you'd like to. I mean, to me, this is absolutely the ultimate because you're getting everything that everybody raves about cast iron. I mean, it is iconic in cookware, but the problem is it's also a hassle. It's gunky for me. It was just too gross. I just didn't like the fact I couldn't clean it. And of course, who was stuck cleaning it? Me and my husband would yell at me because I'm trying to, <laughs> oh yeah, he got so mad at me one time. He saw me put some dish detergent in there. Oh, and, and you can't do that. And we were almost divorced over it, can I tell you? <laughs> and I said, I'm sorry, this is so gross. It's too much of a hassle. I can't do this. C Craig, I know you're not watching because you're already sleeping. <laughs> Thank God, because I swear to you, I am buying the white one for my husband. He will be so happy this to finally for get you, Craig. cast we're iron back marriages. in his life. Yes, we're saving my uh -huh. marriage so he can indeed use cast iron again. But if you want that pumpkin, guys, now's the time to grab it. But think about the black as well or the white for gift yep. giving, gift giving, gift giving. I think this, at this price point, it's chef, awesome. everybody now can really experience how great cast iron is. It is generational. It's something you're going to keep in your kitchen forever, forever and you gift it they're going to keep it in their kitchen forever it's one of those things again my red one lives on my stovetop think about gifting when you gift someone a vibrant color cast iron they will think of you every time they use that cast iron what a magical gift so now we talked about non-stick with the pasta bake cobbler recipe which is online look at how non-stick this is the stickiest fruit cobbler look at the bottom <laughs> of my pan so Do you know what's really worried. funny, Chef? It's going to be harder for you to clean that spoon <laughs> than it is to clean the pan. you got to laugh. That's true. Because that's going to that get... Spoon, if you leave right. that out there, it's going to be harder but to clean the way, pan. But by the way, notice, metal spoon... No worries. Love that. Right? Yeah. I love that. It's so good. All right, guys, I'm going to walk over real quick because we do have some accessory items that I want to share with you. Chef, I'll be right back sure. in one second. Let's go over colors again. I'll just kind of run them real quick because they're standing in front of me. The red, this is the blue. Red's, red is the second most popular because pumpkin's number one. This is the blue. This is that beautiful teal. Here's the new pumpkin. We've never done it before. Think of it as a limited edition. You know, like you guys are gonna have the pumpkin and ain't nobody else gonna have it. This is called Rose. Of course, I think the two easy gift ones will be the white and the black for sure. So white and black here. Now we also have a set of two splatter guards and this is great. Obviously you get the lid, but let's say you are doing burgers or steaks or you're doing bacon and you don't want it to splatter out because you're not gonna use the tempered glass lid. You get a set of two of these and they are in silicone. So that's great to keep the mess from splattering everywhere. We also have the brushes. These are awesome. These are nylon brushes. It's a set of two. They're really sturdy. They're very easy to use. And of course, you can use them on this cookware because it, you, you get to wash it. Hallelujah, right? You can use soap and water, which is great. We also have a really cool nesting tool set that's available. This also is another option for you if you'd like to add it to it. So think about this. If you're trying to really kind of redo your kitchen or you want some great accessories to go back to, you're today special. Oh, one other quick note. Chef, this yeah. might be a bit of a short day for you. This uh -oh. today's special is only valid for today, yeah. for less now than 24 hours. A lot of times we've done today's specials and we'll honor the price for a couple more days. Not with this. You've got one day to grab it, and if you miss out, it's going to go up to its full price, which is actually $62. You're $52 off the retail. And Chef, you know what's funny? Funny? Yeah. Even if you look at the retail, which is $86. Even that's not bad. <laughs> it's fantastic. Honest, it's, right? What do you Because if you're buying really good cast iron, yep. one of these big 4.5, five quart pans, sure. with not even a tempered glass lid, they're just going to give you an old, you know, ratty cast iron yep. lid, is not going to be even $86, will it? I, I, listen, I personally, in another life, have bought cast iron for in the hundreds of dollars Ooh. because they do have that generational feel, like you said. Yeah. So the fact that ours is actually nonstick, I have never seen a true, 
true nonstick cast iron to make cleanup easier, to make cooking easier, to deglaze easier. And the fact that we can cook with wine and acidity and tomatoes, we can go oven to table. It looks great. You get the handles so that no one burns their hands. I love everything about it. The, the size, the four and a half quart size. If you look at the size of the pasta bake, the cobbler, think about holiday time, those side dishes, even doing the whole roast dinner. You can pretty much do it all in this four and a half quart size well, and the depth is and great. And it was fun, my producer, she was out here, Angela, and she said, oh my gosh, she could bake a pie in there. A can huge you imagine, pie. No, yes. a deep dish pie. <gasps> Have you ever had a deep dish <laughs> pie? You've, I'm sure you've made one before. Of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh absolutely. Where they're really and then yeah. you cut it and then you put it on somebody's plate and you do a la mode. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And then yeah. the ice cream's yeah. melting down over it at Thanksgiving. <laughs> Are you kidding? Like, think so about entertaining, right? That made me so hungry all of a sudden. <laughs> Hold on, I got you. <laughs> Do you Speaking have me which, a deep dish pie? No, no, but oh, I got you something better, I'd, actually. I'd fall over right you now. You just reminded me. What'd you, talk what'd about you, entertaining. Oh, what did you make? Now, this is a workout because this is, talk about quantity. Oh, is this roast beef? This is the whole roast dinner. Oh, Four and a half it. quarts. Look at this. Oh, shit. Look at how. Okay. <laughs> How You've many got your is potatoes. That, do you You've, this is over two pounds, right? Is so look really? at the sheer size. I'm doing whole roast chicken dinners in here. I'm even doing like a turkey <gasps> breast roast dinner. Wait, look at the we, pot roast. Get in we, here, oh. and you can flake it. Look, can we one do fourth. that? I don't want to mess it up. Mess you'll it do up. It, you'll do it professionally. Suze will have it all over mess the place. Mess it up. Wait, look at this. Look at this, look. you guys. Look how tender this is. This is what we want. <gasps> this is the magic of that airtight so lid. So. It That's looks cool. like a simple product, but Ooh. we've thought of everything. New Fork, that right? lid Don't close it up just has yet. a seal that will trap in look, the air. Can you Why is that this? important? When you're braising something, like that. a pot roast, look at that. you're capturing all the liquid, the stock, the wine, whatever you're cooking with, oh and making God. your results super tender. So think mm. about braising. Think about poaching like we did with those beautiful eggs. We went right stove top to table. Chef. Simple, salt, pepper, beef. Give it a hard sear in the cast iron. Flip it over, put some stock. Pop it in a low oven. Oh my God. That airtight seal is going to make sure so it steams and braises and poaches at the same time. All right, this kids. This is simple. <laughs> I love it. If you just did it for that recipe. Now, I want to mention, <laughs> when you go to the HSN Today special page, you're going to see there's a link on there that a whole bunch of these recipes will be available. And, Chef, thank you for doing that because that's course, so great. Of course, I love it. Because people see you cooking, they're like, oh, I really yeah, want to yeah. make that. Like, that chicken looks amazing. This roast beef is, yes. you guys, it's the best you'll ever eat. And, again, what's really cool about that, Chef, is because you can sear in this so well, yep. because it's cast iron, yep. then that's how you're going to get that delicious taste. Crispy on the outside, and then you get that moist, beautiful meat that just falls off the bone on the inside. Again, and look at the quantity you can make. Now, this I love. You don't need a good old-fashioned fryer anymore. You, you just don't need a fryer. Fry. It's your fryer. Why does the best fried chicken, old-school fried chicken, happen in cast iron? Because it gets hot, stays hot. The whole idea about something getting hot and staying hot isn't just for searing a steak. Mm -hmm. It's about for braising, poaching, and frying. Notice, I put in my donuts. From the bubbles, you can tell my temperature did not drop. That's why, you know, grandma used to fry chicken in cast iron. It's retaining its heat. So if you're frying your donuts, your fried chicken, I've got a chicken cutlet down here. Anything you want to fry, cast iron is where you're going to do it. So you don't need a deep fat fryer. You need your cast iron, fill it with a neutral oil that can get high, like a vegetable oil, a high smoke point oil, and now that's your perfect fryer. The real test, by the way, my donuts are getting golden brown already. Okay. That's Look how fast. Now, in any other pot, what happens is when you add the food, the temperature goes down, you don't see those bubbles. So if you notice, whether I'm frying, whether I seared those ribeyes earlier, my pork chops, as I add cold food to my pan, it gets hot, it stays hot. It kept its heat. If you've ever seared something in steel or aluminum, and you noticed it kind of got cold, and now there's spots of brown, spots that are pale, or if you tried frying in something that was aluminum or, or steel, the temperature goes down. Cast iron is keeping my temperature, whether I'm frying, roasting, braising, poaching, it's retaining the temperature. That's so interesting. And it's really, look, Suzanne, I've always said, cooking is all about time and temperature. So if your temperature is fluctuating as you're cooking, that's why you're not getting the same results. Mm -hmm. In the world of restaurants, we always cook with cast iron for that reason, time and temperature. I want to fry my donuts at a particular time at the same temperature. I don't want my temp to drop. Same with the sear, same with the poach, same with the roast. That's why every kitchen needs cast iron. Yeah, really. Okay, oh, my little pumpkin. We're going to say goodbye to pumpkin very Already? early, Chef. I did not yet. Okay, guys, in the pumpkin, 
We are now down to about 2,700 for the entire day. And you know what? You think, oh, 2,700, that sounds like a whole lot. No, that is a Not drop really. in the pumpkin bucket. <laughs> it's really lit. <laughs> Thanks for laughing. It's such a corny joke. Tracy liked that it, one. Yeah, Tracy did. She's Tracy liked that Tracy's one. Tracy's giggling. Have you seen Tracy? Yeah, we love Tracy. Hello, we, Tracy. We, I, you show Tracy. I got to show Tracy. He was like, who is laughing over here and who are they talking? Tracy. <laughs> Hello, Tracy. <laughs> Couldn't do this without her. But um, so here's, if you want the pumpkin, this is the brand new color. We've never done it before. To me, it it just makes me smile. It looks like the color of the donuts you're making. It's great. Um, yeah, yeah. If you want that though, and again, serving this any time of the year, but especially this time of year, as we go into fall and all the holidays and just the winter season, just the things you can make and how creative you can be with this and the versatility chef. Yep. It is my first cast iron I've ever met that I think I'm in love with. Because you don't have to baby it. Because you don't, no hassle, I can wash yeah. it, I can actually clean it, but you get the incredible finish of cast iron and the results of and it. And you get the results. Even color on your frying, nice. even color on your poaching and your searing because it's got even consistent heat. This isn't steel, this isn't aluminum. Right. This is all about getting hot and staying hot. And old school cast iron, like you talked about, such a pain to take care of. It certainly isn't non-stick old school cast iron. You've gotta baby it, you've gotta season it, yeah. which basically means coat it in a, a, in a layer of oil, over right? Over and, and over. just over and over. I used to go grab it and I'd literally have to wash my hands because there was oil all over. It's Before kind of my gross. husband even cooked with it. Oh, I thought it was ter terribly gross. I'm sorry, if you really love traditional cast iron, I'm sure I'm insulting you. Uh -huh. But I just, I couldn't deal with it. I just, it was so gunky and so gross. And every time I picked it up, I'd get all that greasy yeah. stuff on my hands. Yeah, yeah. And the, man, my God, I was look washing my hands before we were cooking with it. What'd you stick in there? I threw in some Is chicken that... cutlets in here. And by the way, look. Oil temperature is what about rip roaring cat hot. Catfish. Cat frying catfish in here. I mean, <gasps> hush this puppies. is great just for frying. Hush puppies. Hush puppies. Can you I mean, think about frying with your cast iron and poaching and steaming. Now, over here, I'm going to let those fry for a okay. second. We did our donuts. Our chicken salt and boca is looking lovely. A little bit of butter, a little bit of stock. And look, nothing is sticking on the bottom. That's over great. here, if you noticed, on the, on the rose color, I had some onions, some fennel, some garlic. I threw in some clams. Mm. They've opened up. Wow. Think about your mussels, your clams. Love the airtight seal. So that airtight seal of the lid is doing so much. It's allowing you to cook with steam. It's allowing you to cook braising in the oven. You want that airtight seal for all of, this is one of my favorite, favorite pasta dishes, by the way. It's called vongole. So you steam the clams. There's a little bit of chili flake in there, a little bit of fennel. Add some cooked linguine. Oh, nice. This is one of the recipes that we've uploaded online. So again, I've developed a ton of recipes. I want everyone to check out hsn.com. Mm -hmm. We have recipes, we have pictures. If you go to our great. today's special page, you're gonna see a link to all of the yep. uh, to a bunch of the recipes you're seeing tonight. And you know, again, stir that up and take it right to the table and serve straight take out of it. Right to the table, so stove beautiful. top or oven to table because they look great. Gorgeous. All right, guys, we have to wrap it up. Okay, our little punky. If you want the punky, there's gonna be a ton of people later on today who have no idea this was an option. <laughs> that is how popular the pumpkin is. I have about um, 2,500 left, so we'll go through a lot of these at the towards the end of this hour, and then we're going to do another presentation next hour, so certainly think about getting that one. And if you want the rose, that's actually the least available of all the colors. I only have about 1,300 for the entire day, which I find very interesting. All right, so we got a couple things I want to show you. Again, there's our today's special. We've got the splatter guard. It's yep. actually a two-pack, and it's nice, for example, you're frying over here. That yep. would have been nice to have. Absolutely. If you're doing bacon, burgers that are splattering. Perfect for that, because if you get splatter all over your shirt, that's really hard to get out. But also, it's a trivet. It works oh, as a trivet. Smart. So think about how smart that is. <laughs> they fold, so you put them in your drawer, easy to store. Use it as a splatter guard, but also it opens up and you use it as a trivet, which is really, really great. And I need to check the colors. I thought we had black and red, and they were, so we do have black, and they were gonna bring that out a little earlier before we went on, so maybe they can throw yeah, us out there for the next airing, because I forgot about it. And then we also have the brushes, which are really cool. They're nylon brushes, yep. so too, right? Yeah, those are nylon brushes. And you know, again, for me, now, Ironically enough, our nonstick cast iron, you probably won't need those brushes. But if you've got True. a barbecue outside or an old school pan, those brushes are great because they won't scratch and look at all. Or like anything. wire rack, you get a or clean wire, wire rack. Racks. Absolutely, yeah, that'd be great. Good. Yeah. And then finally, we also have a really cool kind of uh, double-in-one uh, tool set, which you can see that one online. You're gonna do it right now. We're gonna show them to it. Okay, we're gonna show them. So tell us well, yeah, cool little set. Look, these are great because they nest. So you'll notice you've kind of got all the tools you need. You've got your spoon, your tong your spatula, and they nest within each other, right? Really so smart. just a little smart solution. You could have it standing up on your counter. You could store it lying down, but you've got the three things that you need, <laughs> your spoon, 
your tongs, tongs, and your flipper. That's good. You Throw see them in the dishwasher. Inside. And they Isn't nest that fun? inside right in there. All right, we got that too. So we got, and those are, look yeah. at the clearance price then at under $10. We have They're black awesome. and red in those as well. Simple. All right, guys, I want you to join me. I will return. I'm not done yet. I'll be back later on today. This is my HSN Gets Crafty with Suzanne page. It is a Facebook group that's really, a, uh, it's really all about you. People are posting all their cool ideas and everything that they've got going on. And um, in terms of creativity and crafting, if you see right there on the very top of the page, you'll see the link to tonight's show. We only do it on Facebook uh, Live and YouTube Live. And you're a huge portion of that show. Everybody comments, we share ideas. And it's all about creativity. And it is very, very different than what we do here on the air. So I hope you can join me tonight at 8 p.m. East Coast time on Facebook Live. Um, also, another quick note, we're about to hit the 10,000 mark of the number of group members on that page. So I would love it if you can join and get us to that 10,000. Maybe we'll get there before tonight at 8 o'clock. Also, coming up, all right, here we go. We brought out some cool stuff that we're going to be featuring in the show tonight. You've got to stick around for it. Number one, we've got a one cup coffee maker. How cool is this? This is your happy thing in the morning. You're running out the door. You want to grab your favorite cup of coffee. It's easy. It's simple to do. And it is available tonight. That is coming up in just a few. Wanted to show that. Also, these are customer picks. Helps you prep in a snap. It's a set of two. And then this is egg bites and a sandwich maker all in one that you guys love. All coming up all under $20. We'll talk about it later. We use goat milk because we had it, and that's how our company started. But what we learned over the years is how beneficial goat milk is, not only for the skin, but for your body. Goat milk adds moisture to your skin. It's really the most amazing ingredient. People really do notice the hydration of their skin. The farm to skin difference only with Beekman 1802. HSN deal is a great value that we bring to you every day. Thanks to our long and valued partnerships with the brands you love most, we are able to offer amazing products at great values. Shop the HSN deal with confidence from us to you. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. Ingredients that are rich in tradition. Born from the clouds and foothills of the Himalayan mountains. Clean beauty that protects, nourishes, and repairs hair and skin. Shop the Tweaked by Nature Beauty Collection on HSN and HSN.com. Chef, I'm dragging the pumpkin around like only because <laughs> it ain't going to be around all day long. I do. I love the pumpkin. Isn't that it's cute? Cool. I'm renaming it Punky. All punky right, there pumpkin. we go. Look how fun this is in this pretty kitchen, too. <laughs> All right, Chef, so Chef Shahir is with me. Yep. We're super excited because you bring us great ideas. And this next one is almost a must-have, especially as we go into what I consider the true cooking season. Well, you know, as we head into the truest cooking season, you know, you're opening cans. This is like one of those staples in your kitchen, right? You might have a can opener that looks like this. Look, guys, get the shot of the rusty can opener here. <laughs> okay, old school can All the opener, food on it. rusty, disaster. <laughs> Gross food. Now check out the Kitchen HQ version. We call it the one touch can opener, and all you do, put it and press it. And it goes all the way around the can. Why does your old school can opener have rust? It's because it's going into your food. Mm -hmm. This one, by the way, one touch, it's going around the can, around the food. And then when it completes its journey, press it, and boom. Now look at this. By a magnet, it lifts the lid off for me. I'm not wrestling with it. There's no jagged edges. This old school one, that's the one that you wrestle with. This one, if you notice, I just lift it up and totally smooth on this side and totally smooth on this side. So at Kitchen HQ, we're all about solutions of, look, simple, simple stuff. Clean, Clean easy. And look, smooth and smooth. 
it's going around your food, though, so it'll never rust. An old school can opener gets rusty because it gets into your food. Mm. So here, I touched it once, it goes around, total smooth edges. And by the way, when you have two smooth edges, you can reseal it and put it back smart. in the fridge. You ever seen somebody try to right? use a can opener and it's so jagged and awful looking when it's done, you know? Oh. And, you, and you've missed it, you haven't clamped it yeah. down right. And you know what happens for a lot of folks? You don't have the strength anymore to be sure. able to hold it tight enough to really turn it. Um, I was reading an interesting review by a gal who has arthritis in both hands. Yeah. And you know the, the quick chopper we have coming yes. up, the set of two? Yeah, yeah. She said, I almost stopped cooking because of my arthritis. And this, again, is same kind of situation. How many recipes are you not doing because you simply can't open that can anymore. And if you've got dexterity issues, or even if you've just got that old rusty can opener, you're right. Cans are one of those kitchen staples, tomatoes, chickpeas, beans, tomato paste. Yeah. And I want you to see, it doesn't matter the size of the can. Large, medium-sized tuna cans, cat food cans, small tomato paste cans, it really does the same thing. You press it once, and it goes around the can, not in. Now, these old-school can openers, by the way, they go in, that's why they rust, but you've also kind of, kind of get the lip, right? Yeah. You've ever done you this move? <laughs> and you, uh, did I get it? I didn't. Here, you simply clip it to the side, press the button, it goes all the way around, and then when you're done, you saw that magnet action. It just takes the lid off for you. That's no good. jagged edges, you're not wrestling with anything. So it's totally, totally safe. Look at that. Look at that. There's the magnet. Here's like, this one. I kind of like you just set it and walk away. All right, guys, you here could. are the colors. We that. have white, black. Rose is the one that Chef's using right now, and we have red. You even get the four AA batteries Isn't included, so we include the batteries. But think about this. Again, how many recipes, especially going yep. into the holiday season, do we have to We have to open millions of cans between yep. now and Christmas. That is a lot of cans, because if you love making your favorite green bean casserole, yep. you're opening that can. If you're, you know, so whatever. Maybe it's whatever. a dessert. It doesn't matter. We all are used to this. And I love how easy this becomes. Isn't it cool? Oh, you know what about like cat food cans That's too? Right. Things like By that. the way, cat food lovers love this because how many cans are you opening a day, right? But whether it's cat food, beans, chickpeas, tomato, tomato paste, big, small, medium, it doesn't matter. It works the exact same way. You clip it to the side, press the button, and you leave it. I love it because we call it the one-touch can opener. It's like a little magic trick. By the way, this is great also. Kids, grandkids, get them involved in the cooking process. <laughs> Let them kind of work the can opener. They love it. They end up eating what you cook. Trust me. This well, is my plus, secret. And plus, they can't hurt themselves. Because and they can't hurt it's themselves. It's smooth. It's totally smooth. Totally smooth. You're not going to cut your finger on this when you're Which using it. Which allows that. you to reseal if you're not, you know, with tomato paste especially. If you're not done sure, with it, you put it and it. put it back in, right? It's a great idea. Uh, by the way, this is on sale tonight. So we've got it on sale. Look and at we that. even have three flex pays available. So if you have a major credit card, spread your payments out over three months. But indeed, you get it right away. What is the most limited, Angela, great? of the colors I have? Oh, the rose. Okay, there's 500 left in the rose. There's the black, there's your white, and that's gonna be the red. Do me a favor, can sure. you do it just a little bit slower? I want them to okay, see absolutely. how you find where to put it, because so, it's really easy. So actually. it's really easy. Unlike an old school can opener where you gotta find the exact edge and clamp it down together, you just take the edge right here, okay. that's magnetized as well, okay. clamp it to the side, like that. Just put it to the side. It'll do it by itself because it's a magnet. Oh, Press so the it button just once. It. it just finds it because <laughs> that's the magnet part that isn't just taking off the lid, it's also finding the lip for you. So oh, it kind of just great. magnetizes itself to the side, right? And then if you press it once, here's another one, look, find the edge, press it once, and let it go around the world, right? That's wild. And ab after it's done, it's going around your food, not Can we do the this food. giant can? We'll do the giant one. Look at me doubting. I'm doubting it. No, I'm saying, no. let's do a big, big I, can. I, I like this because you're doing big, <laughs> medium, small, skinny. Teeny. Whatever it is. It okay. works the same way by going around the can, not in, so it won't rust. And then you lift up with that magnet action well, so you don't have question. a hanging have, kind of sharp edge. You've been doing this for a long time. Have they ever done studies on the bacteria and the stuff that's well, this one's not done. collected on well, sure. a traditional and that's can? that's all going in your food, Can you right? imagine you're using this over and over? And Look for most people, honestly, you just don't have the dexterity and you, don't have, and you dexterity. don't have the strength anymore to be able to get all the way around a can by twisting it. Not just that. If ever you've wrestled with the edge of a can, you know when like you've kind of got the, you know, around and there's a, a hanging part and you're ripping it off? You don't want that. The magnet takes off the lid for you. You can run your fingers on either side and it's totally smooth, it's done for you. The magnet finds that lip, I'll do the big one for you, Suzanne, finds that Thank lip you. and you press it and it goes all the way around. Big, small, medium, it doesn't matter. So really, in terms of a kitchen staple, 
Everyone has cans, right? Right, yes. You yes. need cans. Right. So, <laughs> time to throw this thing away. The old well, rusty one. you know, one. it's not like we're using the old uh, dial-up phone anymore. This is no good. You know, we're not using the dial-up phone anymore. Now you don't have to use the old can Someone opener. told me that the first product ever sold on HSN 40 years ago was a can opener that looked like this. You know, it was It had opener. a good run. It's been four decades. <laughs> we did well. Let's head into the future. One touch, you're good to go. No more jagged edges, okay? All right, guys. Um, the red is the most popular. We've got Big the uh, rose, we have the black, we have the white. Yep, you even get the batteries included with this one. And it's on sale for $16.95. We're going to wrap this up. Wow, over 5,500 have now been ordered. I love these. I, well, Every know, kitchen needs this. It really does. Yeah. Because, you know, I think a lot of times if we have a recipe, Look. and you said this earlier, if we have a pan that's not a great pan, then yep. we avoid it, we don't use it. You don't use Thus, it. Thus, the Today Special is brilliant. If we have a cans and we've got a bad can opener and it's not working yep. well, then what do we do? We avoid doing a lot of those recipes. And I've had an old school can opener like this, and I'm sure you're out there. You've used it and you swear to yourself, this is the last time I'm gonna fight. <laughs> this is the last time I'm gonna use this thing. And then you end up using it again and again. It should be the last time. Right. One touch, safe, fast. All right, so we're gonna open just a couple more cans and we're gonna wrap <laughs> this one up, guys. And again, I think the red's the most popular. The rose is actually the most limited of these. This would be a great stocking stuffer, too. Yeah. Like, I always, at this time of year, I definitely get into yep. starting thinking holiday gift giving. In fact, we have these really cute cutting boards and I bought three of them. And those are simply for yep. birthday gifts. But I've learned when I see something that's really gonna be great for like a stocking yep. stuffer, I buy it instantly when I say, I don't care, it'll be middle of summer. If I know it's yep. going to work as a holiday gift, and this would be that great little extra something gift for that foodie. That and it is that gift, like cook. I said earlier about the cast iron. When that person uses it, they think about you every time. <laughs> That's true. Which is That's cool. really true. Hey, by the way, if you're buying all the wonderful items from our Kitchen HQ, you got to get them organized, right? And we have Origami to the rescue for sure. This is by far the best shelving system you'll ever use. I've been using Origami since the day we launched it. I have never regretted buying one single piece of Origami. Now, that's pretty amazing, right? because you regret buying something sometime. But with origami, the stuff's absolutely brilliant. In fact, I'm getting ready to actually order some more. Uh, if you'd like to see all of our origami collection, you can see it on hsn.com. Also, don't forget of our HSN credit card. Why do we love it? Because right now you can save 10 bucks on the first purchase you make using it. But really, I'll tell you what's even cooler is all the VIP events and savings and deals you get because you're using our credit card. So check it out on hsn.com. All right, it is indeed Kitchen HQ, guys. If you didn't see it, hang with me. Coming <laughs> up, my little punky. Pumpkin's coming back up. Pumpkin color, this is our today special. If you've not seen it, we'll do it in about 15. So stay with and us. And new recipes. We're going to do a couple new recipes as well. Yes, so stick around. Wait you see the recipe, yeah, too. Yeah. It's all so good. But now we're going to talk about this, and I'm so excited. I have several items coming up in the show that I just think gift ideas, so much fun. And this really is creating wonderful memories when you're cooking with this, especially if you all love waffles. So imagine a waffle maker that just can make a regular waffle. That's fine. But how about a delicious stuffed waffle? Angela, my producer, and I were talking about <laughs> doing Nutella in one of yes. these. Yes. And doing ham inside yep. these yep. so many different ideas chef yep. by the way three colors we have black we have white and we have red so kind of explain how this works okay so here's how it works and someone asked me off camera can i do stuffed can i do unstuffed here's how it works to do a stuffed waffle we have an insert huh. that makes it a bit thicker so that you'll have room for your stuffing which i'll show you in a second okay. if you just want to do a, a straight up plain waffle look press down and now it's a flat kind of plain waffle oh. now press up and then you can add that insert and have a stuffed waffle, okay? So add the insert, and by the way, I've heard this before where some people say, well, I've never made a waffle before. I don't know how to do it. A waffle batter, a simple waffle batter, recipes on hsn.com, I developed a ton, is basically a thicker pancake batter. So if ever you've made a pancake, you can make a oh, waffle. Okay. It's everything in your pantry already. Flour, egg, butter, milk, and you've got a waffle batter. But here's how you do a, a stuffed waffle. Put a little bit of that batter right in the bottom, and then I'm gonna do an apple pie stuffed oh, waffle. Yes. Check this hello, out. Hello. I love what you said, chocolate hazelnut spread would be great. I've yeah. done a cookies and cream version, a cherry cheesecake version. Wow. All these recipes, a Rocky Road version, all these recipes are on hsn.com. Check them out. Again, Suzanne, this is one of those things I love about our brand. They let me kind of run wild with it. Put some batter on top, and then you close it up. Now, this is only gonna take about 
I don't know, six minutes, Okay. right? And you close it and off you go. Okay. Over here, you could do a savory, you can go sweet. Ooh, what is this? Chocolate. Yay. There's your chocolate. Take that off. Oh, that was the insert that made it stuffed. Now here I've got it stuffed with some strawberries. Oh my gosh. If you are in a breakfast or brunch rut, meaning it's eggs and bacon all the time, or yeah. maybe you throw in the occasional pancake, pick this up. Do it with your kids, do it with your grandkids, let them get creative and do a stuffed waffle. Are you kidding me? Now look, you get the filling, ooey gooey on the inside, strawberry and chocolate. How good is this? Oh please. And, and all so of this, good. by the way, is from that base recipe. Okay. Right here, a thicker pancake batter is basically a waffle batter, and then, you can add flavors like cocoa powder, matcha green tea powder, whatever you wanna do, and get creative, get the kids involved, do different flavors, and do different stuffings. Go savory, go sweet. Mm -hmm. And all those recipes, again, are online. So you know I'm gonna jump in with a fork here in just a second. Not you. on that one, I'm waiting. I'm what waiting are you get, waiting for I, I don't know, because this one coming up at the end here. That one is a sleeper hit. It's a, sli That's a sleeper, because I'm looking hit. at jalapenos yes. and shredded cheese mm -hmm. together. All right, what's this, what are you gonna okay. do with this one? So now, this is actually my favorite. This is gonna do like a cherry cheesecake situation. So basic waffle nice. batter on the bottom. Again, flour, egg, a little bit of milk, a little bit of butter. How long does it take to make? To make the batter? No, no, to make the waffles. Oh, it's gonna take five, six minutes. Oh, okay. Like in real time, it's like really easy. super easy, okay. super fast, right? Mm -hmm. And then we put a little bit of cherry jam right in the middle. Oh, I love it. You could put some mascarpone or some straight up cream cheese right in the oh, middle. Why not? And I love that because the filling mm, kind of melts as the waffle cooks, right? <laughs> That's great. So get creative with your flavors. Now, throw a little bit of, of the batter right on top. Okay, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can I do cornbread in here? You can do cornbread, you could do a savory waffle. Could I do a little cake? You could do a miniature cake, How you could cute do a little would that frittata. Be for a birthday party? You could do a little <gasps> frittata. A frittata would Absolutely. be Absolutely. Awesome. Because you know what's funny? The shape really reminds you of almost a butt cake. Absolutely. It's got, I love it. It's got these wavy, curvy edges to it. And this is this is one of those TikTok trends where they go, will it waffle? <laughs> It will. You could do yeah. a cornbread, you could do a stuffed kind Can of chocolate. You could do a chocolate cake, like lava cake waffle. Oh my gosh, that would be so sweet. Right? And then it kind of oozes out. Could I do out. a brownie? You could do a brownie. I've done could it Could I do a big chocolate chip cookie? Like, can you imagine just putting cookie dough in there? Like a big uh, thick, think of okay, a cookie. Hold on a second, now middle. I've never tried that one. I what don't see why not. Do it if you wanted to do that, you wouldn't do it stuffed. Yeah. So how I showed you earlier, take out that thicker insert, Press it down, and now you've got a plain <laughs> waffle, or now you've got like a waffled cookie, or now you've got, great. you know, you could do a cheese stuffed frittata or cornbread. Oh. So it's not just about sweet, which, by the way, I take my waffles sweet, I love them sweet. You could do savory waffles, you could kind of do, we've got a waffle with cream cheese and salmon, you could stuff it what with the cream cheese. What if you want to do like ham and cheese in the middle of a corn cornbread waffle? <gasps> Now is that we're what talking. we're doing? I didn't even now know what we're he's talking. Making. Now okay, look, is this? this is the jalapeno cheddar waffle. Okay. Okay. And I want you to see that the edges kind of get mm -hmm. golden brown and crispy. This is so Take fun. out that insert. That's the insert that you're going to use to make a stuffed waffle. But again, you could press down. And, and what's oh your my base? God, can you smell it? Yes. Same base. So here's the thing. If oh, you cool. want to do a savory waffle, don't put any sugar in the base, and you've now got a savory waffle base. And again. All recipes are on hsn.com, recipes that I got to play with, I got to develop with pictures. It's easy to make a waffle. So if you've never done it, one. you can get in there. Hold on, Ooh, watch it's your fingers, because it's nice and hot. Now check this out. Oh yeah, can you can you smell this? That was so good. With the cheese yes. and the jalapeno. <laughs> it's like it's that? super easy to make, and like I said, if you've ever made a pancake, you can make a waffle. Savory, <laughs> sweet, you even know what a this reminds me Oh, of look too. at the cheese. Well, I mean, yes. how many of you remember, like, growing up and... Uh, <laughs> or you could actually put an egg recipe in here, too. It would be kind of Yes, cool. But you how can. many of you grow, grew up and maybe Dad made waffles every Sunday morning? Yeah. And to this day, you have these amazing memories of Dad making waffles or Mom making waffles or, you know, Grandma made waffles when he came over. And there's so many cool memories associated with that. This is that kind of thing where the grandkids yep. come over and they're just, Grandma, we making waffles when we're here? Yeah, we're going to make stuffed waffles. And you create these wonderful, long-lasting memories. Or think about the family coming to visit during the holidays. How fun would this be to pull out and you're making waffles for everybody, yep. you know, on Christmas morning or, you know, while they're there over yep. that weekend visit. This really is beyond just making fun waffles. Think about really creating moments and memories with this because you really will. And, you know, this is my thing, Suzanne, because oh I'm not goodness. much of a handyman. Yeah. But this is what I know, right? It's and your love language. It's my love language with my kids. Can you imagine on Sunday morning how oh. excited, right? Oh. 
my god. I'm making another one. I had a feeling you'd like that one the best. Oh my gosh. Now, I love that because the cheese kind of gets crispy on the edges. So think about savory waffles and sweet. Oh, it's you can good. Smell the jalapenos. And it's simple. Now mm. close it up. And it's so Lock moist. Up. Super moist. Wow. And you know, really a waffle is actually a hard thing to overcook. Like, don't worry about it. Oh you can God. take a peek, by the way, throughout the process. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Just pop it open, take a peek. Oh, and just shut it again. And just shut it again. Like, if it's not oh. done, it's not done. You just Little take a look, look and it's all good. But it's super easy. Again, a waffle is one of those things. Look, Man, in real time, good. this took what? I don't know, five minutes? This was the stuffed one with the apple pie. Look at that. Just a few more minutes on that. Super right? easy. You can, listen, you can keep going. You can like it darker. It's not gonna overcook really. This is just flour, egg, a little bit of sugar if you want a sweet waffle. Don't cook the sugar if you like it savory. We've got the cream cheese waffle. Like I said, you can peek. That one's still going. Let's do another one over here. Okay. Look at this. So like I said, if you want to do a flat waffle, not stuffed, press it down. Now we're just gonna do a straight up waffle. And all those recipes that I put online with that basic batter, if I put cocoa powder in here, I now have chocolate waffles. If I put green tea powder, which I love to do, you've got matcha waffles. You could put cinnamon sugar in your waffle batter, right? You can get so creative. I'll put a little bit more. Um, okay, clean up. Easy, non-stick interior, give it a wipe. Oh, Rinse great. it with water and boom, you're done. Oh, easy. So okay. cleanup is easy. We thought of everything at Kitchen HQ. We want your cleanup to be easy. We want your life in the kitchen to be easy. We've kind of talked about it all hour long. If you dread using it, you ain't gonna use it. So we want cleanup to be easy. We want you to have recipes to use as soon as you get it home. Go to hsn.com. You're gonna see recipes that I personally have developed and took pictures of that you're gonna love, right? Savory, sweet, everything in between. Stuffed, even flat. And you're gonna use it over and over again. You said it, Suzanne, with your kids, with your grandkids. Yeah. It's one thing to serve them up a plate of bacon and eggs. Yeah. It's another thing to say, gather round, yeah. we're gonna do something. And your custom and, waffle. And like, your what custom do you waffle. want, Johnny? Oh, I want, you know. And that's and exactly waffle. it. If you make this basic batter and then let your kids say, I want a chocolate one, cool. Yeah. Put some of that batter in a separate bowl, a little cocoa powder, Johnny's got a you chocolate imagine one. a peach waffle? Oh. Like fresh peaches in a waffle. And it won't stick. So you could take it out and clean it. It's all good and easy. And I even thought too, man, you think of it like that you're right. People take these things and they get crazy with them. But yeah. think if you wanted to make it a baby egg recipe inside yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that would actually turn out awesome. I mean, this looks great. Look at this. <laughs> Is it ready to go? Look at that. Oh, that looks really good. And that one's got the apple inside And that's it. the apple pie filling in there. That is great. All right, guys, so here's the scoop. Um, the red's the most popular. We have it on Almost sale tonight. There. So we've got it on sale. Mm. We have three color choices, the white, the black, and the red. And again, I always, like I Look said earlier, this. I really do think this time of year, mm. think Christmas holiday gifts that are really fun for the family. Yep. Think about people coming to visit. If you just made cornbread waffle shapes. They're so good. Now how fun would that be if you're eating like fried chicken with our today special? Yeah. Make your cornbread in here, and then you're cutting it in quarters, guys. And do so a little hors d'oeuvre. Yeah, it just Absolutely. naturally makes the cutest little shape shape so if you make little 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 individual yeah like look at that look, look at, that. at that awesome little shape it. easy snacks yep. if you got the gang coming over for the football party yep. really perfect little snack you could do with that too so and i like that too about kitchen hq because we don't want you to have a one-dimensional item yep. i want you to use it for brunch with the kids then use it for game day use it for entertaining go sweet go savory Check out those recipes on, on hsn.com and you could do it right when you get home. Love it. All right, guys, I do want to mention so the can opener. If you missed yeah. out on it, no hands, hands free. I don't know if you saw it earlier. I don't know if we have one out here to show you, but oh, can we show it on .com? Thank you. There's four different choices. It's huge. We've sold like 5,700. Uh, they're on sale, battery operated. Thanks guys. We actually have four colors left. We have the black. Well, do we have more than four? Maybe we do. I'm what? I don't know. I'm, it, we do have five colors. We only had four out here. Oh, well, that's good news. So look at the colors we have. They're all there. I know black, red, rose. It looks like we have a teal, right? And a white. Oh, well, good news. We got teal on there. Okay. So um, take advantage of that. It is on sale. Don't miss out on it. Also, Chef, we got these really cute little silicone measuring cups. What do you love about and these? And non-stick. So these are great because imagine when you measure something sticky like honey, molasses, and it basically sticks in there. Yeah. Non-stick. And here's another thing that I love. The silicone isn't just about non-stick. Look, when you're pouring oh, you the liquid, really pour you kind of give it a squeeze and let Ooh. it pour out. So when you're measuring honey, molasses, all those things, I love that. By the way, these are heat resistant as well. So you know what I use these for? When I have my bacon grease, right? I oh, pour it in here and I brilliant. save it. I, you've got to save your bacon grease and your chicken grease. So heat resistant, non-stick, squeezable, 
and you got your measure on the inside and the grip on that side. It's really totally these cool. Are great. And they nest. We love they dunk, nest. dunk, and dunk. And now Done. we have uh, four colors. We've got purple, red, teal, and white. Yep. And it is a three pack of our um, cup sets. Those are on sale too. So you might want to get those. They're really dishwasher smart. Dishwasher safe. Throw them in your dishwasher oh, and you're good. These are really brilliant. They're awesome. Nestable, dishwasher safe, non stick. I'm going to be able to get in there and get a spoon and, and try to your scrape bacon all grease, the stuff everyone. out. That's bake a good idea. Bake your cornbread with bacon grease. All right, guys, what are we doing? Oh, okay. I'm so excited, Chef. <laughs> Because coming up in this hour, and I'm so glad you guys are sticking around, we're going to just about to take another look at our today's special, but also we will be doing this. I am so pumped, guys. I have three items that are under not just $20, they're under $18. Okay, it's a coffee maker, a one cup coffee maker. How brilliant is that for the office, even in your little cubicle, make a cup of coffee. It'll taste great. These are customer picks. What they are is they're going to take and make your prep time so easy and fast. Believe it or not, these are choppers. This is a beautiful set of two. Again, under $18 wonderful gift ideas and then this i absolutely adore guys you can make what are egg bites egg bites are really not only healthy for you but a great way to snack i'm really watching my weight what i'm eating egg bites are really easy but this is also a sandwich maker as well another customer pick all under 18 dollars coming up all right let's talk about our today's special you guys have loved it so far let's jump into it <laughs> 